If you're on a software development team, then you've probably experienced a code review. And if you found that helpful for improving your design skills and building up your team, then I'm glad, but also skeptical. Because often code review is the only mechanism the team has to align on a direction for the design of the code. And it's not a great forum for that. And sometimes code reviews are just full of criticism, negativity and fear, or perhaps worse, indifference. Looks good to me. I want to talk about how we can make code reviews better and what else you should be doing to build strong and healthy software teams. Hi, I'm Emily Bache. I'm a software developer and creator of Saman Coaching. Welcome to my channel. I would like to thank my sponsor, Tupal. They make a tool for remote ensemble and pair programming. A small bootstrapped team of engineers who care deeply about software quality. I've tried Tupal and it worked well. It was really smooth, especially to switch who is typing. It feels great to partner with like-minded people and have Tupal as our first sponsor. If you're looking for a tool to make pair and ensemble programming easier, more effective and fun, check out the link in the show notes. Code review is pretty much ubiquitous in the teams that I work with as a technical coach. And often it seems to be the only activity the team is actually doing in order to get technical alignment at the level of code design. The definition of a team is a group of people who are aligned on a common goal that they're helping each other to reach. And when I go into development teams, I find a lot of issues related to technical alignment. I meet developers who are just not familiar with each other's code. They're working in silos within their code base and code review hasn't helped them to get shared code ownership and a shared vision. I meet people who just don't know the words to use when describing software designs and important code patterns. Writing comments in code reviews hasn't helped their design vocabulary. I meet junior developers who feel lost. They're not getting much or any support while they're actually coding, while they're doing software design. They get to the code review afterwards, and then it can take several rounds of revisions before their changes are accepted. I meet senior developers on these same teams who are actually very skilled and perfectly friendly and willing, but they don't really know how to mentor and explain things to build up the people around them. Usually these days, code review happens during a pull request process. A developer on the team finishes their coding task and creates a pull request, so another team member will be prompted to review it. They read through the code changes and add their comments and suggestions. And then the original developer might need to make some changes or maybe the code will get accepted into the main branch straight away. There are better and worse ways of doing code review. I'd like to highlight this article by Trisha G because I think she knows what she's talking about. Her advice is to focus on checking the things that cannot be automated. Is the code readable? Is it maintainable? Is it extensible? She also suggests that you think carefully about the whole process that the reviews are part of. Pull requests isn't the only way to do code reviews and decoupling the review from the merge process can be a more effective way of doing things. So you can make code reviews better and I still don't think that's enough. I'm a technical coach and I work with development teams to teach coding skills and build engineering culture. And I can tell you, code review is not a big part of what I do. I want to encourage communication about the code that's being written while it's still easy to change during coding. We should be talking about how the design of all the pieces fit together and what engineering approaches we want to take, what kind of unit tests we should be writing, how we should be using our other tools and frameworks. I just want to break off there and remind you that if you're enjoying the content today, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can also support me and get additional benefits via Patreon. Saman Technical Coaching is all about the way teams write code, and it has two main parts, learning hours and ensemble. So in a learning hour, we go through some theory, we practice hands-on coding skills and discuss what we think about them. The guided learning hours on this channel are a good introduction to that part of Saman Coaching. The other part is ensemble, and this is where we get real work done, all together in the team's production code, supported and mentored by the coach. So these are the kinds of activities that will build up a team of developers, writing code collaboratively and help them to get technical alignment. Ensemble is a great forum for talking about design and getting better at design. 
And I use this in my work as a coach to quickly spread the ideas that I'm teaching to all the team members. Other technical coaches do a lot of pair programming for similar reasons. I personally prefer Ensemble, and actually a lot of developers find it easier and more fun than pairing. Ensemble is also valuable for team building, even without a coach. Particularly if you use strong style. And that means you're dividing up the roles of talking from typing. So if I have a design idea and I want to get that into the code base, I'll have to communicate in words to somebody else who's going to type that into the computer. And that suddenly opens up all my design ideas for discussion and questions. We can learn from one another. We can collaborate on decisions. I find it far more effective than discussing design in a code review afterwards. The other important thing about technical coaching and the Saman method in particular is that the coach is not with the team full time. The team can't rely on you for delivering features. It's a form of technical leadership for building better development teams, but it doesn't replace the tech lead who's on the team. I go in for a short time in order to build up the skills and encourage better teamwork, and then I leave for a few weeks or months. And the measure of whether I did a good job is whether when I return, is the team still doing any of the things that I was telling them to do? Ongoing technical leadership and teamwork is essential. Technical coaching is the best way I've found so far to help teams to improve their skills and their coding culture. If you'd like to know more about it, do check out my book and the Saman Society website. We have free resources and you can sign up for our events and our trainings. Software teams need ongoing technical leadership and they deserve more than only code reviews. Happy coding. <laughs>